Lesson 15.2b, Finding Volume Rectangular Prism. A rectangular prism has six faces. Any pair of opposite faces can be called the bases of the prism. And the base of a prism is the face that classifies the prism, whether it's a square prism, rectangular prism like this one, or a triangular prism. Any pair of opposite faces can be called the bases of the prism. Here we've got this top and bottom, which would be this piece and this piece. We could also do this front and the back piece as this piece and this piece. We could also do this side and the other side as this piece and this piece. They're opposite faces, so they can be called bases of the prism. So, for your notes, the volume of a rectangular prism can be found with the formula V for volume is equal to LWH for length times width times height, or we could do V for volume is equal to base height. Notice this is a capital B. That's where this capital B represents the area of the prism's base, the length times the width. We do the length times the width for this blue base down here, and then we just multiply it by the height. Here it's telling us to find the volume of the rectangular prism, and we can see it's giving us the measurements. This length is 3.5 centimeters, the width is 2 centimeters, and the height is 4.5 centimeters. We do length times width times height, so we have 3.5 times 2 times 4.5. Now, because we have mixed numbers here, we write each mixed number as an improper fraction in order to multiply them together. We do 3 times 2, the denominator is a 6, and we add that one numerator, so it's 7 halves. We use the 2 denominator. So we have 7 halves. We can write the 2 as a 2 over 1, and for this one, we do the 4 times 2 plus the one numerator. That's 9, and we use that denominator. We have 9 halves. Now we can multiply them. We know that 7 times 2 is 14, but now we need 14 times 9. We do a little math on the side. We see it's 126, and 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. We have 126 for our numerator and 4 as our denominator. We need to write it back as a mixed number in simplest form. So, what we do is, because this is a little division problem, isn't it? We have 126 divided by 4. Do a little long division on the side, and we see that we get a quotient of 31. We have a 2 remainder, that's going to be the numerator, and that 4 divisor is going to be the denominator. So we have 31 and 2 fourths. We can simplify this to 31 and a half cubic centimeters. So, we can also write it as centimeters cubed with the little 3 exponent, can't we? Now we also saw that we can use V, the volume, is equal to the base times the height as the length and width for the base. So let's see how to do that one. We have the same rectangular prism, but we're going to be using V equals BH. We have the same measures, so what we're going to do is find out what this capital B is. It's going to be this length times that width, so we have 3 and a half times 2. That's going to give us a 7. We change the 3 and a half into 7 halves as an improper fraction. We multiply it by 2. We have 14 over 2. 14 divided by 2 is 7. Now we have 7 for this capital B, and we multiply it by 4 and a half, the height. 4 and a half is 9 halves. We have 7 times 9, so our numerator is a 63, and 1 times 2 is 2. We have a 2 for a denominator. We have 63 halves. Now we need to write it as a mixed number in simplest form. This is 63 divided by 2. 2 fits into 63 31 times. We have a 1 remainder. That's going to be our numerator, and the 2 divisor is going to be our denominator. We have 31 and a half cubic centimeters. We got the same answer as using V equals LWH. We just did it a little differently. 
The commutative property of multiplication states that we can multiply in any order and we'll get the same product. This means that we can multiply the dimensions of length, width, and height in any order and the volume will be the same. For this volume, it may be quicker to multiply the width, 2, by the height, 5, first. We have 2 times 5, that's 10. Now we can multiply that to the 3 and 4 tenths. 10 times 3 and 4 tenths is 34 cubic feet. We have 3 and 4 tenths. When we multiply this decimal by a 10, we just move the decimal point to the right. We have 34 cubic feet. Now, be careful to use the correct exponent. Volume has three dimensions, length, width, and height, so we use three as an exponent. Area has two dimensions, length and width, so we use two as an exponent, okay? We're finished with the second part of the lesson. We're gonna move on to the last part, solving volume problems, rectangular prisms. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and please join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye.